At a depth of more than 100 feet, construction of the Blue Plains Tunnel began in July of 2013. The job of doing the actual work was given to a $30 million machine, dubbed Ladybird, in honor of Ladybird Johnson. And her performance would make her namesake proud. Ladybird's progress is slow but steady. Like a determined inchworm, she moves forward in slow, measured movements. She advances at a rate of four inches a minute as her cutter head churns through the Potomac clay. She completes a six-foot push forward every 18 minutes, then stops for the next cycle, construction of another ring in the tunnel. That's where those concrete segments come in. It takes seven segments to complete each ring of the tunnel. And for every six feet she mines, there is 120 cubic yards of material, the muck, that needs to be removed. That muck moves through the screw conveyor at the front of the tunnel boring machine, or TBM, onto a conveyor belt that runs the entire length of the tunnel. Huge boxes are filled with muck, lifted out of the ground, dumped in trucks and hauled away. Back below ground you can feel there's a rhythm to all these moving pieces. Excavate, build, dump, repeat. 15 to 20 workers, engineers, safety specialists, tradesmen, like electrician and DC native Kurt Ellerby, all working in tandem to keep Ladybird advancing and advancing, ring after ring after ring. Three shifts a day, 24 hours a day, six days a week. And before you know it, Ladybird has mined more than a mile, marked her 1,000th ring, and moved on, leaving in her wake the Blue Plains Tunnel the first tentacle of the D.C. Clean Rivers project.